I'm Alan, this is Saj, and we're running off grid. We can normally be found traveling the world in our van, but we are in Cyprus and we've been here for a month and we're doing IVF. If you've watched our last vlog, you'll know that our embryos have been transferred. <laughs> This week it's all about waiting to see if it's worked. Stay tuned to find out the result. Today is test day. So I've set a timer for five minutes. You yeah. can't read it after three. There we go, go after a <laughs> Who's gonna want to wrap it? I don't know. So what are we looking for? Two lines. Two lines. All right, uh. Yeah. <laughs> so about halfway through the two week wait now and I've always been like, no, I don't talk about symptoms. I don't do symptom spotting, but that's all fully gone down the drain. <laughs> I don't feel like ill. I just feel like a little bit nauseous, a little bit tired, a little bit like bleh. Yeah. You know, like, you're like two days after you've had a stomach bug, well, you're not ill, but you still feel a bit like washed out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, so, yeah. But you just can't look too much into it, or you go mad. Yeah. I feel like maybe it's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to keep a grip, babe. <laughs> yeah, that was something I wanted to do. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like because I have no self-control, you should like take these and hide them from me. Right. Because you're worried to do it too early. Yeah, I'm just such an addict with it, do you know what I mean? Okay. Like if you've got cigarettes and you're giving up fags, you wouldn't have them in the ass, would you? No. Where am I going to hide them though? Somewhere I'll never know. <laughs> I wonder Got where it. they went. I don't even know. Excellent job. Thanks, babe. Right, should we go to the beach? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Alan's been after this cappuccino drink for a while. But it's super confusing because it's all like wazzed up, it doesn't have actual ice cubes in it. But it's called a cappuccino chiller. I don't think it's on the menu. You say it's on the menu. I've looked at the menu and I can't see it. <laughs> I even described it to her last time and she just looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> she spoke perfect English. And then she did me a Freddo cappuccino, which is just like lumps of ice, not crushed ice. Look how amazing the beach is, though. Isn't it beautiful? Well, we wake. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. That was a nice orange juice. I'm not drinking proper coffee at the moment. I'm having just a little little instant in the morning, which is in line with NHS guidance, so that's what I'm doing. I'm but drinking proper coffee. Yes, he's enjoying his I had a lovely coffees. frappe. <laughs> I know lots of women say that they do and they don't, and you just gotta make your own choice, isn't it? I don't have tea either, so it's only a little instant coffee. I don't think I could do it, to be honest. I don't think I could give up the caffeines. So we've just wandered along the beach and we've decided to come for lunch um, in this amazing Lebanese restaurant where we came for my birthday. So it's really important, isn't it, to get lots of veggies in us. In us? Well, in me, really. <laughs> I'm the important one. And the lady here recommended a vegetarian meze. So I've convinced Alan to eat vegetarian for once in his life. 
So, last time it was so good. Some pretty exciting ones. Look at this. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. We got salads, dips. What did she say this was? No idea. Looks good though. Cabbage, loads of bread. Here he is, Mr. Vegetarian. Hello. How was it? Do you know what? It was quite nice actually. Yeah. Good. I still feel like it would have been nicer if there was meat. <laughs> but um, yeah. Nice. Got certainly a massive amount of veg in too. It's very visually appealing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so like, nice. Yeah. It looks like we haven't eaten much. We definitely have. There's just so much here. Doggy bags to go. Four. Doggy bags to go. Nice. This is the church at St Lazarus, a Greek Orthodox church. It's really ornate inside. I came down this morning, there was a service going on, so I'm kind of hoping we can have a little look in. Perhaps I'm not Christian myself, but maybe if I ask God for it to work, that'll improve my chances. <laughs> At this point, willing to try anything. Oh no, it's closed. Oh, that's a shame. Alan's gone in to get another coffee. Lucky Alan. Must be nice to be able to have coffee. never normally get the lift but I've decided that since embryo transferred it that's what I do it made a lot of sense from the early days but now I'm not quite sure why I'm doing it that's kind of my life now though making different choices and going is that right? should I be doing that? can I, can I eat camembert? no I can eat camembert <laughs> Can you eat grapes? Yes. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's been a couple of days since we last filmed anything and 48 hours until test day. Uh, getting a bit nervous about it now. I'm always, always into struggle the last couple of days before the test because uh, theoretically you could know now. The tests are really good these days that potentially you'd know but don't test early, madness lies that way. Uh, but I am quite aware of a lot of the symptoms I'm experiencing so like I do feel quite sick. I'm taking that as quite a good sign. Got some ginger tea to help, uh, but I'm not looking too much into it because I could easily just feel very sick for no reason, like all the drugs that I'm on. And actually, Thursday morning, it'll be a it'll be a no. So we're just starting to sort of pack up and put a few things together. Um, we'll do the test in the morning, and then we've got a taxi booked to the airport because the uh, the um, buses don't go to the airport in the middle of the day for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, 40, 48 hours or no, 48 hours to stay sane and stop just constantly thinking, Am I, do I feel sick or not? Do I feel sick or not? <laughs> this process, honestly, turns you into a crazy person.
Good morning, everyone. Today is the day. Today is pregnancy test day. It's a nervous morning, I must admit. We're both feeling quite anxious. Today is the day we find out whether this whole month in Cyprus has worked and it's been worth it or whether, you know, it's been an expensive month of stress and worry. Fingers crossed it'll be all right. Have you successfully weed on the stick? Yes. <laughs> I've been like, my eyes shaking. How are you Ooh, feeling, man? Oh yeah, I've got the angst now. Yeah. I've been like kind of keeping it chill, but yeah, now it's come. My body's like something's happening. Something big's happening. Release all the adrenaline. So I've set a timer for five minutes. You yeah. can read it after three, um, and up till ten. But I just wanted to make sure that it's properly done. Yeah. Whew. We'll be all right. We will get through this either way. Yeah. It feels weird. I feel like we should be incredibly excited. Like, just... you know what I mean? Like, if it's positive, like, oh my god, yes, it's worked. But it's not, is it? It's like, oh my god, now there's just so much more to worry about. Yeah. Will Will we go all the way to term and all that kind of stuff? That's it. The first time we got a positive test, I was like crying with happiness, off the scale of happy. And there's no way I can do that this time. Life has beaten us down yet again. It has. It robs you of that lovely innocence and joy of early pregnancy. But there we go. I got for Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna want to wrap it? I don't know. Let's just do it. So what are we looking for? Two lines. Two lines. <laughs> Park. <laughs> <laughs> Those are clear lines as well. Two lines, right? <laughs> okay, I'm way happier than I thought it was going to be. You okay? Yeah. Very clear lines. Two super good lines. Gonna find them come out. Two lines, YouTube. Oh. <laughs> is it like so? This is the control line, that side, yeah. right? And like this line is like nearly always lighter, but like a line's a line, right? This is so strong that it's stolen the dye from the test line. Yeah. That's how strong it is. I think it's twin. Do you know what people say when that happens? Twin. Yeah. We did put two embryos in. <laughs> well, this is a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Has anyone here had twins in a van? <laughs> van life twins. Coming totally at you doable. soon. <laughs> totally doable. We, didn't even, we don't even have four belted seats. Anyway. Thanks for watching and all the support, everyone. Thank you, I know, everyone, uh, sticking with us. I guess not van life, but <laughs> we will be back in the van, though. We'll be back in Apollo. I'm yeah. so looking forward to seeing. Catch you next week, people. Catch you next week. <laughs>